Hi, and welcome back to How to College. I'm Katie, and I'm joined today by the Assistant Director of Admissions, Ms. Peggy. You want to share with them about what you do? I am Peggy Christensen, and yes, I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions. Um, so I oversee the admissions counselors um, who do recruiting for prospective students. And so there's another role that you play. You are also a mom. Yes. And so today's episode, we are going to talk about what the role of a parent is with the college process. So thinking about when your child's getting ready to pick a school all the way through, you're wiping those tears away as they graduate. <laughs> so, so talk to me about what a parent's role is in that process. Um, I would say the most important role for a parent is just to be supportive mm -hmm. of your student and their decision. Um, I've got one coming to college in August, so I understand. I have another one that graduated a few years ago, so it's just supporting their decision. And, um, you know, I know it can be hard, especially if they're far away from home, um, you know, and you're calling and I miss you, I love you, and they're they're crying maybe, but just mm -hmm. telling them that th what they're doing is a good, a good thing and for their future and, um, you know, try to hold those tears before the phone call or after mm -hmm. and not be so I want you home because that's going to be hard for them but you know remind them to get involved to go do things so they're not so homesick and just sitting in their room doing nothing um, but yeah being as supportive as you can and making okay. sure they're eating their vegetables yes yes kind yes. of checking in on those kind of things definitely make sure they're important. getting into the cafeteria and eating their vegetables um, you know you can send care packages mm -hmm. um, as a little you know give to them to make them have a good day but yeah whatever you can do to support their decision being here mm -hmm. and I think one of the biggest roles is that support you know making sure that they are making some friends getting connected but then there are some pieces that parents really need to get involved in and that's more the financial piece yes so talk about maybe your role with FAFSA and all those things um, we one of our roles is just to remind families to do the FAFSA. If they have questions on it, we can answer some of the questions. We direct them a lot to our financial aid office. So if parents do have questions on their bill or the FAFSA, um, our financial aid office, business office will answer all of those. So, <laughs> and that's where I think it's really important for families and parents, if they can, to come on visit days, to come to orientation, so they kind of get to learn what the different offices are on campus, who to contact if they yes. have questions, all yes. those things too. And it's good for the student because they can make some connections before they even come to campus. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the parent, yes, to see some of the people and meet some of the people that's going to be dealing with their student every day. Um, and I always do tell parents, obviously, when we talk about certain things, we can't share information with the parents mm -hmm. unless the child has um, filled out a permission slip with the, fer the FERPA. Um, but if a parent has concerns, call us. Um, you know, call one of the offices, mm -hmm. whether it's student success or admissions or um, student development and we can check into it you know we want to make sure your students doing well and if you have concerns that your students not we will make sure somebody's mm -hmm. checking in on that student right. um, to make sure that they're getting what they need and I also think it's important to kind of look at the website so you can see the academic calendar you know when those breaks are going to be yes. um, especially in advance because if you have trips coming up or if you want to plan something around picking up your student from school you know kind of getting to know all of that information is really important you know so yeah and we love having families and parents on campus so it's always kind of nice when you see them coming to different events cheering yep. on at different sporting things um, and then I think this year we're gonna have a family weekend mm -hmm. which will be mm -hmm. really nice to get families involved and get people on campus too and homecoming weekend yes we love I mean obviously there's hotels in town mm -hmm. so we'd love to have families come um, anytime a family is in town if they have questions they're welcome to you know call the offices and make a visit mm -hmm. with any of us so I think the biggest piece is getting them Involved in the process, um, helping your student with some of those financial things, especially their FAFSA, yep. but then knowing that this is a transition from to adulthood. Mm -hmm. You know, these are young adults and learning mm -hmm. how to kind of navigate some things on their own. So seeing that, but then also watching that journey, but that's kind of different, right? Is it, is it, it a is fun thing, kind of sad? Both, both. <laughs> both, and it is very hard. You know, your student is an adult and we have to mm -hmm. remember that. Um, my daughter asked me if I could email her IT department one day because she couldn't get in. I said, no, you need to do that. Right. So it is hard. They're still our children. We don't want to look at them as an adult, but we need to remember majority of them when they come here, they're above 18. So they're an adult right. and uh, 
we need to keep that in mind. But you can still be there to support and you know give them direction. But then yes, have them start making some of those emails and phone calls and advocate. They need to learn to advocate for themselves. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming to talk to us because I know you're in the middle of this process right now. It's yes. a lot as we're kind of looking at looking ahead. Ending one season and starting the next. So yeah. yes, it's kind of, this is a busy transition season for us. So yes. Awesome. Well, thanks. Thank you for having us. Yeah. And thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more episodes of How to College as we go through that college process. See you later.